Hey guys and welcome to another video on how to build a stock prediction system using Python, Pandas and Keras and also scikit-learn. So this video I'm going to show you how we run the stock game we did and the player code and then see how it works. One thing I wanted to show you from the previous video is I did mention there's a classifier that's being used. I wanted to see you to show you how actually it's being imported so I'm getting from sklearn externals, I import joblib and then joblib I give it a path to the Bitcoin predictor system that we made using a random forest classifier as I need to CLF and then I use it down below. So that's for player 2, player 1 doesn't use any classifier. So now let's get to it and um, first thing I'm going to do is just restart this and uh, Let's run this and see how it works. So now I've imported pandas and matplotlib. Then I import from game a couple of things, mostly what we are going to be using here, like choose df, which is just for choosing data frame, stock game, player, main key, game record predictions, past predictions, and player two. So this df, this choose df function just allows you to choose a data frame. If you remember that from the previous times we were talking about this, it actually just lists all the data frames that you have and then you just see the one that you want. Let's say now I wanted to see one that doesn't exist like um, surf. Tells you uh, surf is not in the available option. Uh, if you want to exit, type N or N. So I'm just going to pretend I want to exit and then type N. So here if I try and check df.head, it's going to crash because that came back as a none, the value none, which I mean the none in fun, in Python, which means it's nothing, so it doesn't have any extra attributes like uh, the head, which usually comes with pandas. So with this, what I just do is pick uh, pick Bitcoin, and that assigns Bitcoin to the data frame. Now if I check here, now I can see Bitcoin has been assigned to DF. And here, this is just some additional logic you need to keep into mind that the date when it comes in this format is usually in two digits, like 0, 1, instead of putting like 1, even for the month, which is like 0, 1. And by the way, it starts with month, day, and year. So it's 0, 1, 0, 1, and then four digits for the year. And that is important because you are going to be usually putting in start date here. And that usually depends on the format of the date. So I'd recommend... You do a df.head, look at the format of this, and it's usually, it is in the format of month, day, year. Make sure both the month and the day are two digits. If they are one digit, change your input accordingly. I may in the future change this so that it actually can pass your text into an actual daytime field, or you just pass in an actual daytime field. It will depend on how the new changes will come. So that's just something to put into consideration with this. So now if you get to it, here we have a player 2, which is the player that actually uses the uh, classifier model with an output equals to 4, so it won't actually be giving all the texts of the daily predictions, uh, profits and losses. Miss plot equals to true, so it's actually going to plot the red dot, so it's missed, and start date equals to the first day of 2018. So if you run this, it tells you player ID not found, so it's creating a new player ID there reach the final day game ending and then the final day is you made a profit of 19 shillings on the last day the loss you made is zero the amount you have in your pocket is 69 <laughs> and you invested 556 dollars so you've actually gone a loss because if you know remember this game starts with a thousand dollars so things went down and uh you can see these red dots represent all the points during this uh uh, game iteration where the classifier was wrong. So there are points where it was wrong and these are all the red dots that classify that. And it may look like they are a lot but if you can imagine this line, how many dots if you were to count them, I don't believe they'd be uh, they wouldn't be above 5% because I'm thinking of the classifier with about 95% accuracy, they would not be above 5%. So that will still match up with a 95% roughly accuracy level. So here I'm just going to do the same thing without specifying the start date so it moves through the whole process. 
and this actually takes a little bit longer few let's say that ish to one minute depending and when it's done it's going to show you the graph and uh, all the points that it's missed so here you can tell it's saying that you have tried to uh, invest two thousand one hundred and two hundred and ten thousand you had 210,000 invested and you wanted to withdraw 245, which is more than the amount that you had in, in stock. And that's why it looks like that. And now if you look at this, there is a monotony of red dots, which are a lot, which may mean the classifier isn't as accurate as I thought it is, but I'm banking more on the fact that it is actually pretty accurate because, pretty accurate because if you can see how, what it did at the end, you got a profit of 2.7 million on the last day. The amount in hand is 9.7 million and the amount invested is 78.8 million. So it's a sign that it actually is good, at least better than player one. And uh, to do this again, also using uh, the, the first day of 2017, because think something to note here is if you look at this graph here, from the beginning, this point, the graph tends to go down from there. So if you started investing from here and this is the highest peak, things start to move down. So eventually it's hard to recover the initial investment you placed here. So it's a, I'm not sure the technical term for this, but I think it's a loss game. So you're just trying to take what out of a sinking ship. So basically the more you try and invest, the higher the chance that more dips would come. As, as you can tell here, there is another continuous session of the dips going down, uh, lower and lower. So it's like playing poker and the, uh, the house is against you. So things will tend to move away from you. Unlike this scenario where, as you can tell the beginning point, I'm thinking this is about 1,500 because this is a digit of 2,000. And by the way, if you are running this on Jupyter Notebook, you can save this. Let me save this to my download folder. Then if I open it, as you can tell, the image is actually pretty huge because even this is about 58% uh, in terms of... Uh, the level oh, okay zoom so that's about 100 percent so the image is pretty clear if you had a larger screen you'd be able to see this much better and uh, if you are projecting it you'd still be able to see most of this content visually so the content isn't too compressed even though down here you are seeing values in terms of numbers these are the index values of the points instead of the date time but not to worry because uh there is a different graph with that. I believe the only reason that I didn't actually put the data in below here is um, there was a lot of uh, back and forth when it came to this code. So I believe I just didn't come to that point where I decided to pull this. But it is pretty simple and I'll show you in the code because this is just uh, the plotting method. What I needed to create is just a time field and use that. As you can tell, plot has this kind x equals to time, and then it uses the uh, time field that's created, unlike misplot, which I believe is here, um, doesn't use that field. It actually uses df copy dot index. Uh, it may have been because when I was running using a time, there was some bug happening. I can't remember because it's, it's a while back, almost six months ago, and uh, but I'm sure I can fix it if... Uh, if I put my head into it. So anyway, the next thing here I'm doing is plotting the output. Still as false, so I don't want all the texts. Plot equals to true and the start date is 00 2018, beginning of the year. But you may be wondering what the difference between this and the other one was because this we did do the same thing in this one from 2018. The difference is this one is misplot and this one is plot. So because this one is plot, it's going to show a different kind of plot with the date included, as you can tell here. And uh, more importantly, we can see the three values that matter most to us. The value of the the value of the Bitcoin, the amount, and the invested amount. So as you can tell here, the value is this purple line, which is still always higher than 
all the previous values here because when we were buying this stock at that moment the value of a single coin was higher as you can tell at the beginning of here it's about uh, 13 I'm guessing about uh, about thirteen thousand dollars so at that point the value of a single coin was higher than the total amount we would have to spend and uh, so there would have been no point where the amount would be able to reach this amount because even at the lowest point here it's still more than a thousand dollars but as you can tell here there are two lines the red and the blue line and that as amounts to the amount and invested so the amount is the amount that you started when you're investing and in the red one is the investor which is how much you're putting in and here you can tell the amount basically drops and picks up and drops and so they are alternating based on the analysis of this if there is a clue that says there is a reason to invest you invest more if there is a reason to feel you need to withdraw more you withdraw more that's the logic that i put into player one and player two and i believe player two took it more better than player one and was better reactive to these cycles of the money moving up and down one more additional thing as you can tell the amount stays in name so the amount are still at the end of the day you have is 69 and uh you still invested five you still have 556 dollars invested in the market so this is a uh, player two running with plot equals to true same thing this is just from the beginning of the year and uh, as i said before you have a profit of 2.7 million amount is 9.7 million and invested is 78.8 million and uh here you have three the three graphs which is invested same color reddish amount blue and value sd as a purplish color and as you can tell here it's been the value sd has been more or less squashed to a single line basically almost uh irrelevant compared to the huge numbers of amount and invested and uh this is a scientific notation i equals to b so i believe this is in it is in the million so i'm thinking this is since we are talking about invested of a level of 77.8 million which would be somewhere around here this has to mean that this 1.00 is equivalent of 100 million dollars so you have to assume that there was a point where you were making a profit of because invested is red and this is the red line you had a profit of up to 150 million dollars which eventually dropped to the point where you had about 78 so you actually in this scenario still lost almost half of your profit by still betting on the market after it went down so i would have preferred to make a player three which would uh not lose so much in the end of the end of the, uh, the end of the day and that was something that i'm still considering putting when i make my player three version uh but yeah this is the main these are the main things i want you to keep into mind when you're looking at this and how this works so here i'm running player two again still with output equals to false plot equals to true and from the beginning of 2017 so we can look at the line of the three values which is the value sd invested and amount now as you can tell here uh the value which is in purple which is at the top of the line and the invested which is the red line the red line basically always remains more or less above the blue line unless to a certain point where it feels as if uh there is going to be a loss for example let me take this as an example this is a trend where things are moving up i want you to pay note to this curve here generally the market is moving up and in comparison if you look at this the predictor is making more and more ballsy moves of investing in contrast you can look at the blue line which is amount of money it has to invest it basically drained itself out completely hedging on the market and until up to somewhere around here where the market basically started going down it was still hedging fully to leave money in the market till the market started to go down as you can tell here and just decrease the size of the screen so you can see more text more of the image clearly so here uh, okay uh, 
I think the best will just be to download this image so we can view it uh, on a more larger, uh, it, it occupies more of the screen and it will be much easier to, to show what the analysis looks like. So, as we are saying, here is a point where the market basically, the Bitcoin market was the highest value and then it started to drop and as it dropped, the coin base there, predictor basically withdrew it to a such a point, such a high amount that you can tell at this point it's basically almost draining, draining the amount invested to almost zero and as the market fluctuates, it also fluctuates with it. So, generally, I'm happy with this particular behavior which is why this is something I want to push into the, my continuous code of newer, newer player games with only one particular main interest of seeing how much can I prevent a certain market dip making more losses and that is a bit of a conundrum because you want to basically at in a particular way say that for example I want to buy uh, stocks when they're here and then sell them you know I think it's the other way around because if you buy them here if you buy them from here it's the right way around so if I buy them from here and sell them when they're here I'll make a profit when they drop lose some then when they climb buy some so that logic of knowing the right time to buy and sell i'm just going off my gut instinct on how i think it will be done maybe a better well a better breakdown of how uh, people who actually do stock trading would do it may help make a call that is actually a little bit more impressive when it comes to this so that is something Hopefully, I'll be able to show you uh, soon when I make player 3. So, now I'm just going to move on to the first player, show you how it works. Give you some time to run through. And now, we are looking at output equals to false and plot equals to true. So, it's going to plot the same line graph. And just to point out how much money he made, he made a profit of about some digits here, which looks a bit like... um. 224,000 amount in pocket is about 13.2 million with an invested of 6.8 million so this player one has a tendency of withdrawing too much and leaving too little in the market that's why you see at the end it had an invested total amount of 6.8 6.4 million with 13 million in pocket at the end in comparison to the prior one which if I show you here had an invest of 78 and amount 13 so the amount you had at the end is more with player one than player two but the amount you had invested in profit is more so that's one thing i did uh, did make me to consider player one needed to be the revision version of player two where it would be willing to have more in market but only when the market is going well when the market is going bad withdraw when the market is going well take back that's why that's why i'm back to that particular code i was saying about state multiply with so the state uh, which would be either one or two would be the divided by a quarter or an eighth and that will basically determine that inter interplay of uh, withdrawing and uh, putting back into the market so i'm just going to run this final few lines here so we can see a little bit about uh, the other outputs that come to this so in here it's still looking at output equals to fall but miss plot equals to true so we're just going to be looking at uh, the red dots and as you can tell these are huge swath of them at the beginning very little at the end how would i interpret how i would interpret this is uh at the beginning it was very jittery then at the end he became more confident about leaving money in the stock and that's how I would interpret if I would look at this. Uh, this is a uh, was wanted to show you. Amount is the blue line, and as you can tell here, the amount basically does have a point, so it's been taken in and out, but more or less it's left to stay. But that's, that's my interpretation of this because remember, the red dot is points where you actually banked on a loss. But there was no loss or you banked on a profit and there was no profit so at the beginning there was a huge amount of banking but i guess later on it got its 
got the hang of it, which feels a little bit counterintuitive compared to this, which still is has a little bit of similarity. At the beginning here, there's a little bit of erraticness because I believe one of the main things is the ups and downs kind of basically determine that where compared to these points, they are less uh, erratic points. So this is something I will I might put some more additional work into looking into and figuring out what's going on here. As I said at the beginning of this, this is some video, some amount of code that I wrote a while back, and uh, I haven't had a chance to even uh, browse through most of it. Like this is the first time I'm actually sh showcasing this, and uh, at the same time as I'm recording, I'm still seeing some of the few things I would like to change when I make player three. Like uh, understanding why the why these red dots are clustered in certain ways would really help in making a more accurate prediction system, or maybe even finding that the way I'm predicting things has a flaw that I haven't yet uh, figured out. So moving on from there, we are looking at a uh, player output uh, equals to false and plot equals to true. So it is a line graph similar to the way this one was was at the above. Only difference is this one was plotting the dots that I misplot, this one is just plotting the lines and they are more or less on the same line yeah. this is actually a duplicate of the above so I'm just going to delete that this is another duplicate another duplicate duplicate another duplicate Okay, so here it's just a uh, output equals true. So here we're actually going to see the text, which as you can tell here, the day, days in, days out, text of the, the process as it's running. And I didn't actually tell it to plot anything. So at the bottom, we don't have a plot. Or in this case, there is no texts of uh, what you wanted to plot but now, now what I actually just wanted to do is show you from the beginning of the first let me put it as 0101 zero, one, zero, one. so we can compare it with the prior version using player 2 player 2 actually made a profit of about $556 with an amount of 69 so this guy got about 40 bucks 40 bucks on top of him so he's 109 with an invested of 479 so maybe if you add them all up he did better than the other one but yeah so maybe in terms of a market that's less stable he is a player one is a, is a better prediction system i would bank more on player to need a little bit more fine tuning and he i to do better that's my take on it and um finally here you're looking at let me switch this also to 0101. Uh, 20, uh, player 1, he made an amount of 294 and invested 4,830. believe player 2 made almost 5,000 starting from the beginning of 2017. So if I copy this, so we can see who actually did better. So apparently player one actually did better. He made more cash at the end of the day which comes as a surprise for me because I was banking on player 2 but that goes to show you that when you are coding you'll always be surprises up, up in the corner so maybe the best way around as you can tell here there is some similarity of uh, parallel of how one goes up one goes down based on the analysis uh, so yes so maybe there is some logic to thinking of how player two basically beat uh player yeah player two 
was beaten by player one by almost $1,000. In fact, it's more. It's about, uh, it's, uh, it's about roughly $1,000 because he had more money in the amount. He had less money in the amount. This guy had more money here than here. Total them up, I'm guessing uh, it's roughly about $1,000 more than the other. So that concludes this video on uh, how the game works. And thank you for watching the next video. I hopefully will release soon when I uh, either find some cool changes to talk about or work on player 3. I'll push it up as soon as possible. Thanks.